Hi, and welcome to Jamie DeRoy and Friends. Well, this is about the busiest time of year for the theater season. So many award shows. The first one being May 15th, the Drama League Awards. And that is followed on May 22nd with the Outer Critics Circle Awards. On May 31st, the Drama Desk Awards take place. And on June 1st, two award shows happen, the Aster Awards and the Theater World Awards. But the big award that everyone is waiting for are the Tony Awards. That takes place on Sunday, June 7th at Radio City Music Hall. And the nominations have been announced. And for Best Musical, two musicals were in the top slot with 12 nominations each. An American in Paris. The 12 nominations include Best Musical, Best Direction and Choreography by Christopher Wielden, Craig Lucas for Book, Robert Fairchild for Leading Actor in a Musical, Leanne Cope for Leading Actress in a Musical, Brandon Uranowitz and Max von Essen for Featured Actor in a Musical. Glamorous. You can't blame me for feeling American in Paris plays at the Palace Theater. Over at Circle in the Square, Fun Home also got 12 nominations for Best Musical category. And they include Best Book by Lisa Crone, Best Original Score by Janine Tesori and Lisa Crone, Best Performance by a Leading Actor, Michael Cerverus, Best Performance by a Leading Actress, Beth Malone, Best Performance by a Featured Actress, Sydney Lucas, Emily Skeggs, Judy Kuhn, and Best Direction of a Musical, Sam Gold. Like Superman up in the sky Till I can see all of Pennsylvania Caption, my dad and I were exactly alike. I see everything. Caption, my dad and I were nothing alike. Maps show you what is simple and true. Try laying out a bird's eye view. Not what he told you, just what you see. What do you know that's not your dad's mythology? I guess I'm older, and it's harder when you're older to begin. Peeling plaster, sagging roof, two missing stairs, a buckle wall. I'm fired up to do this, but on my own, oh, so much damage, broken windows, pipes are shit, crap veneer. It's hours later, Jesus, I'm still standing here. Your swagger and your bearing and the just right clothes you're wearing, your short hair and your dungarees and your lace up boots and your keys, oh, your ring of keys. I know. 
third nominee for Best Musical is Something Rotten, with 10 nominations, including Best Choreography and Direction, that's two nominations for Casey Nicola. Other nominations include Best Performance by an Actor in a Leading Role in a Musical, Brian Darcy James. Best Performance by an Actor in a Featured Role in a Musical, Christian Borrell. Also, Brad Oscar. And to complete the category of Best Musical, none other than Candor and Ebb's The Visit. It has five nominations, including Best Actress in a Musical, Cheetah Rivera. <laughs> Nominees for the 2015 Tony Award for Best Play are Disgraced by Ayad Ektar, Hand to God by Robert Askins, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Simon Stevens, Wolf Hall Parts 1 and 2 by Hilary Mantel and Mike Poulton. Hand to God, playing at the Booth Theatre, has five nominations, including Best Play. Best Actor in a Leading Role in a Play, Stephen Boyer. Best Actress, Geneva Carr. And Best Featured Actress, Sarah Stiles. Our next nominee for Best Play is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime with six nominations. They include Best Performance by an Actor in a Leading Role in a Play, Alex Sharp. The fourth contender in the best play category is Wolf Hall Parts 1 and 2, playing at the Winter Garden Theater. The nominations include Best Performance by a Leading Actor in a Play, Ben Miles, Best Performance by a Featured Actor in a Play, Nathaniel Parker, and Best Performance by a Feature Actress is Lydia Leonard. <laughs> There are four nominees in the best revival of a play. Skylight, The Elephant Man, This Is Our Youth, and You Can't Take It With You. Skylight is playing at the John Golden Theater and has garnered seven Tony nominations. It's a cast of three and they have all been nominated. Carrie Mulligan and Bill Nighy for their leading roles and for featured role, Matthew Beard. <laughs> no, really, what are you thinking? Are you putting the chilli in first? <laughs> no, it's, it's just, I, I, I usually, I fry the chilli so it infuses the oil.
Aha. Uh -huh. I see, I don't do that. I'm doing it the way I prefer. The other three nominees in this category have all ended their limited runs. The four nominations for The Elephant Man include Best Performance by a Leading Actor, Bradley Cooper. Best Performance by a Featured Actor, Alessandro Nivola. Best Performance by an Actress in a Featured Role, Patricia Clarkson. This Is Our Youth fills the third slot in the Best Revival Play category with one nomination. With five nominations, you can't take it with you. They include Best Actress in a Feature Role, Anna Lee Ashford, Best Direction of a Play, Scott Ellis, Best Scenic Design, and Best Costume Design. are a part of the theater scene. Sometimes they influence the audiences and sometimes not. But let's look at one of the newest critics on the scene. Please welcome Ian Loves Theater. Hi, this is Ian and today I saw Finding Neverland on Broadway. And let me tell you a little bit of what the story's about. It's about Mr. Jam Barry and how he met a family that inspired him to write the amazing children's story, Peter Pan. And you know what? Speaking of Mr. J.M. Barry, he, the person who played Mr. J.M. Barry was, uh, was from America. He was American, and he had to do a Scottish accent. And I'm from Scotland, partly, so I know what it feels like, but he really did a good job on the Scottish accent. I can tell he was practicing backstage or something. And... It's about how it can be a little sad to grow older because every day a child can grow older and there's this touching moment where he says children shouldn't be allowed to go to bed because every day they grow a day older. And I agree with him, but also I can't wait to see what, what's in the future. And since Mr. Jane and Barry was Scottish, I got my nails painted to go to the show. And it's also about how you should never lie to a child to make them happy. Just to, just, just to lie to a child just to make them happy, that's bad. And it's a very emotional show. You should bring some tissues probably because at the end, it's like a real life story because, well, it is a real life story because some happy things and some sad things happen. And then there, there's this very happy and sad moment at the end that you love and you'll be sad about. I I don't think you should look any further because I found Neverland. This is a great show. You should see Finding Neverland. Over at the Gerald Schoenfeld Theater, the audience has garnered three nominations, including for its star, Helen Mirren, as Best Actress in a Play. Also, Best Featured Actor in a Play, Richard McCabe, and Best Costume Design.
included in the leading actress in a play category, joining Geneva Carr, Helen Mirren, and Carrie Mulligan are Elizabeth Moss from The Heidi Chronicles and Ruth Wilson from Constellations. And we would not want to overlook this Broadway performer's debut, and he gets a featured actor nomination. It's Micah Stock from It's Only a Play by Terrence McNally. And someone else not to overlook, she's already won a Tony Award, is Victoria Clark, who has been nominated for Featured Actress in a Musical for her performance in Gigi. That carriage ride. You walked me home. You lost a glove. I lost a comb. Ah, yes. I remember it well. That brilliant sky. We had some rain. Those Russian songs. From sunny Spain. Ah, yes. Uh -huh. I remember it well. The Last Ship has been nominated for two Tony Awards, for Best Orchestration and for Best Original Score by Sting. This is Sting's first Tony nomination. We are very excited. <laughs> Our last category is Best Revival of a Musical. There are three nominees, On the Town, On the 20th Century, and The King and I. Included in On the Town's four nominations are Best Direction by John Rando, Best Choreography by Joshua Vergazzi, and Best Leading Actor by Tony Yazbek. New York, New York, New York, New York. It's a hell of a time. another minute to see the famous sights. We'll find the romance and danger waiting in it beneath the Broadway lights. Oh, we've hair on our chests, so what we like the best are the nice sights. Nights. Nights. New York, New York, a hell of a town. The Bronx is up, but the battery's down. The people ride in a hole in the ground. New York, New York, it's a hell of a town. Town is playing at the Lyric Theater on West 42nd Street and just a few doors down the street on West 42nd at the American Airlines Theater is the roundabout production of On the 20th Century. They have five nominations including Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role, Kristen Chenoweth, Best Performance by an Actor in a Featured Role, Andy Carl, and Best Scenic Design and Best Costume Design. <laughs> but certainly not least, is The King and I to round out the revival of a musical category. It has nine nominations. It's playing at Lincoln Center's Vivian Beaumont Theater. The nominations include Leading Actress, Kelly O'Hara, Leading Actor, Ken Watanabe, Featured Actress, Ruthie Ann Miles, and Best Choreography, Christopher Gatelli. Also, Best Direction of a Musical, Bartlett Shear.
The 2014 to 2015 season was very exciting on Broadway. And every year, some shows are overlooked, and every year it's really sad. Well, here is a look at a few of those who did not make the cut. It should have been you, and would have been you. If she'd only had the common sense to take my word that you were it, I told her he's always been around you. Might as well make him legit. Once you find a decent fit, you keep him on. It should have been you instead of this John. When I die, 